Hello everybody, this is Ryan Forstall again. I want to give a quick lesson on the modes today. Uh, the modes of the major scale have uh, a different title for each one. They're Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, um, Lindian, Mixolindian, Aeolian, and Locrian. And what basically a lot of people don't understand is that it's basically just your Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. And when you start on each one of those notes, if you start on the G of the G scale, just as G major, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, that's Ionian. But if you start on the second note, but stay in the same exact scale, just starting on the second tone, and that's like starting on Re, Do, Re, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, Re, A to A on the G scale. Still on the key of G, not playing the A major scale with three sharps, still playing the G scale that has only one sharp. That's the Dorian. Then if you start on the third note, then you're actually playing the Phrygian mode. And then if you start on the fourth note, you hit the Lydian mode. Then Mixolydian starting on the fifth note, D. Aeolian, relative minor, starting on the sixth note. Start on the seventh tone, F sharp. Is Lydian. And then you're back to Ionian. Now, a lot of people have showed this, but there's one thing I think that needs to be clarified is that instead of staying in the same position, then starting on the second, what you should do is you should move up the fingerboard, um, I guess you'd say uh, horizontally, then start on the A, Dorian, then start on the Phrygian, then the fourth note. Sixth note, minor, two, three, four, six, seven. Sorry. Seventh note. And then you're back to the first note. And now you've covered all the fretboard, because you've covered 12 frets, which means now you're just going to repeat all the previous scales. Um, so what you get here is... So you cover the whole entire fretboard with the same exact scale, that would be your G scale covering the whole neck, then you can start working sequences like or fours, jumping thirds, there's all kinds of sequences, there's many, many, many you can do. You can do fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, then you can get into all different types of um, swinging sequences. So um, the next lesson I'm going to go ahead and go over these patterns. I use Randy Rhodes' three note per string ideas. It's easy to get more speed when you actually uh, have three notes per string. It's easy to flutter that pick and get that down and pick and that really really cook in there. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Uh, remember again, it's Brian Forstall80 at gmail.com for any questions. Thank you.